What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to update AMD chipset drivers. Why you need to keep them up to date, what they do exactly, the purpose of the chipset drivers, and I'm gonna discuss some of the symptoms that you may see on your computer if those drivers are out of date and they need to be updated. So, let's jump right into it. So if you're new here, my name is Jason. On this channel, I do a lot of computer builds, tech reviews, software tutorials, things like that. So if that seems like something that interests you after this video, go check out the rest of my channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. But today's video is all about the AMD chipset drivers. There's several reasons why you would wanna keep them up to date and I'll go ahead and discuss what they do and some of the symptoms that you might see on your system if you're having issues. So AMD chipset drivers, basically chipset drivers in general are responsible for controlling communication between various components in your system, mostly the processor, the video card, and the hard drives. Now PCI devices and system memory is also included in that. So keeping these drivers up to date is pretty important, especially if you start to experience any type of sluggishness in your system, or you start to see symptoms in your system where things crashed and things like that. So it's very important that you keep these drivers up to date. These are not drivers that you're gonna keep up to date or update on a monthly basis, sort of like your GPU drivers. These drivers you may update maybe two to three times during the lifespan of your computer. So it's not really something that you're gonna update all the time, but when you start to see symptoms on your computer like maybe crashing in your games, uh, slow read and write times on your hard drives, or if you start to see your RGB lighting start to act up, or like I said, hard drives crashing, anything USB related, then you know it's time to update your chipset drivers. But it's also very important to keep them up to date, like I said, because they control the communication that goes on between your CPU memory and other PCI slots and things like that. So it's very important that you keep them up to date. Now, there are several different chipsets for your motherboard, so it's very important that you identify what chipset you have, and I'm gonna show you that first. So if you already know what chipset you have, then you can go ahead and skip to that portion of the video and I'll link all of the timestamps below. All right guys, so if you do not know what chipset you have, then you're going to want to download software called Hardware Info 64 or HW Info. I'll leave a link in the description below for the software, but once you go there, obviously you'll download the software, get it installed on your computer. Once it's installed, you'll run it. Now, once you run the software, it will pop up a window. On the left, you have a lot of different things you can click on. You'll click on motherboard. Off to the right, it will show you your chipset. So right here, it shows B450. Now there's also another window that will pop up. Again, at the top, it will show you your chipset. Again, B450. Now you're also gonna to wanna to make note of your platform. In this case, mine is AM4. Keep in mind, your platform and your chipset may vary from mine, so just make sure that you're documenting the right information. So once you have your chipset, the easiest way to do this is going to be to go to AMD's website and download the latest drivers. So you're gonna do a Google search for AMD chipset drivers. Then from there, you'll go up to the top where it says drivers and support. You'll click on that link. It will take you down to some windows here where you can select some items. So here you can see you can click on chipsets. From there, I'm going to go down to the AM4 socket, which is what I just said, the platform. And then you're gonna find your chipset, select it, and then hit submit. You're gonna to wanna to select Windows 10. From there, you can see that you have the latest driver, so you can click download. And then once the download finishes, you can actually run that software. Now what this is gonna do is pop up. It's gonna give you a UAC, you can hit yes. It's going to basically go through the process of installing the software and then it's going to begin the process of installing all of the drivers. So here you see chipset software installer from AMD. Now it's gonna give you six options. You're just gonna to wanna to leave those selected. You're not gonna mess with those. You're gonna hit install and then it's gonna go through the process of installing all of those drivers. I'm gonna let this run and when we get finished, we'll come back and discuss it. So here you can see it says everything has been installed successfully. So what you're gonna to wanna to do right here is make sure you restart your PC so that everything goes smooth and that the installation is actually finished. Now, another way you can update your chipset drivers is by going to the manufacturer of your motherboard. In my case, it's gonna be Asus. So from here, I'm going to go down and select motherboards. I'm going to select AMD platform and then go and find my motherboard, which is the B450F Asus ROG Strix. So again, this is just my approach with my motherboard. You may have to go to MSI, Gigabyte or whatever, but this is why I'm saying it's easiest just to go to AMD's website and get the latest drivers because they also have, usually they also have the latest drivers compared to your motherboard manufacturer. The approach would be the same. Once you download, you just install and then the chipset drivers have been updated. Just remember guys, chipset drivers is not something that you're gonna to have to update on a regular basis. This may be something that you do, like I said, two to three times for the life of your system, unless there are some type of issues that AMD or Intel release or they have to update or fix. Hopefully you got your chipset drivers up to date and you may see a little bit better performance or stability, system stability. And if so, that's awesome. 
If it worked out for you, make sure you hit that like button because this definitely helps out my channel. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you have any comments or questions about chipset drivers, or if you didn't really quite get it, or you don't really understand, or you messed up somewhere, or anything like that, whether it's questions or comments about chipset drivers, go ahead and leave those in the comments below and I will definitely answer those. Other than that, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I'll see you all in the next video.